Welcome to day 12 of My Wild Life Years, 30 Days Wild. Today I'm going to be talking about wild guides, field guides. They are absolutely excellent. So let me show you what I've actually got in my collection. Birds in Flight, book at the bottom, a couple of different um, orchard ones. That's actually an old publication to the did. Um, and then they've, done, uh, they've updated it with this one. Uh, Britain's Hoverflies, Britain's Butterflies, Day Flying Moths, two spider ones, it's the first and second edition. Uh, dragonflies, Freshwater Fishes, Reptiles and Amphibians, Sea Mammals, two British Mammal ones, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Britain's Birds, Britain's Habitats. Plant Goals, which is a really it's a thin book up there. It is really good. And also, there's, they do a, they've also done a pocket bit guide for birds, which I've, I had to add to my collection. We waited a long time for a new fuel guide in the mammal community, and finally, one came along in 2017, Britain's Mammals Wild Guide, and I was so excited. I was, you know, I got it the day it was published, and I literally read it from cover to cover within a few a few days. They are absolutely brilliant reads, all the wild guides are. But what I wasn't expecting was to actually be a second edition <laughs> um, so soon. So last year, after waiting years and years and years for um, a field guide, we get the second edition, which I also had to add to my collection. Published in conjunction with the Mammal Society, which is always a good sign. Written by some experts in the field. They're all pretty much the same. There'll be slight differences in the, you know, how, it's, how it goes through it. Common purpose drill, distribution um, map, bit about legal protection and some of its stats here. Brief introduction to it, bit of identification of it. Um, because it's a flying mammal, it's got a bit in flight and it sounds... Then it's signs of suppose summer and winter risks, the habitat it'll be found in, food, its habits, the speed and behavior, and its population and status. And compare that to something like the brown hair. So we go for identification, signs it makes, signs that split into forms, uh, tracks, trails, droppings, hair, feeding signs, then its habitat, its food. Habits, breeding behaviour, and population status. So you can see that there's similarities between them. Oh, look at those photos. But there's also differences, and this is what makes them really good. They're so accessible, and they're so because of the standardisation, all the books are good. So if you're looking for a good fuel guide, um, and Wild Guides publishes a book on that, uh, on that species group that you're interested in, I'd heartily recommend getting it. That's day 12 of my wildlife year's 30 days wild over and done with. Hopefully see you tomorrow for day 13.